While neither Kyle Allen nor Kyler Murray was perfect for Texas A&M at quarterback versus Arizona State, both showed flashes of brilliance as they shared reps on Saturday night. It's a platoon that the Aggies plan on using over the next few weeks. Colin Deaver has more. Following Texas A&M's win over Arizona State, Kevin Sumlin said it was the plan all along to play both Kyle Allen and Kyler Murray. Tuesday, he expanded on that topic and was very pleased with how both quarterbacks played. I think what you saw was a, a combination of two things. Number one, uh, the, the maturity level uh, of Kyle Allen and how he was handling the situation. But also, I think it also had to do with the explanation that, uh, you know, I've heard the word yanked. He, nobody yanked anybody. The, the explanation to him was that, hey, you're going back in. I think knowing that he was going to have an opportunity to get back in and that that, that was going to happen, um, probably calmed both of them down a little bit. Like any true freshman would have handled it. You know, he was a little wide-eyed at the beginning, but, you know, his athletic ability, uh, you know, he, he got to make some plays out there. You know, he, was, he was, wasn't very comfortable in the pocket, as you guys could probably tell with that, but he made a lot of plays with his feet. But, you know, what, what a great opportunity for him to get thrown into a situation like that with the defense with nine returning starters and, you know, a national TV game. You know, that's, you know, that, that's kind of... Uh, that the highest platform that you can throw a true freshman in. I mean, if it helps our offense, it helps our offense. You know, I'm not the offensive guru here. I'm just here to play football and do what the coaches tell me to do. So if so I haven't coached someone think that we get Kyler and we can move the ball a little more, then let's do it. You know, I'm all for it. And just, I'm not a selfish person. I'm just here to try and help the team win and try and make some plays. While Murray gave the Aggies a spark in the second and third quarters, it was Allen who came alive in the fourth quarter and led A&M on three scoring drives to put the game away. You know, it, it was one of those things where you could look at him and be like, hey, it's your time. And, you know, he, he went out there and, and things started clicking for him. So, you know, I was very pleased with how Kyle handled it and the maturity that he had, you know, throughout that whole process. Once I knew there was like a couple plays that we had run earlier in the game that we ran on that series where I knew for sure where I was going to go with the ball and I was much more confident about it. So I think I kind of figured out their defense by the fourth quarter. On the injury front, someone said that the Aggies hope to get linebacker Otaro Alaka back this week against Ball State and that the injury running back James White sustained in the first half against the Sun Devils is not considered to be serious. Reporting from Kyle Field, Colin Deaver, KAG Sports. Thanks, Colin. It's good to learn that Otaro Alaka is close to a return. That will only help that already impressive Aggie defense. Next up for Texas A&M is its home opener this Saturday against Ball State.